in West Philadelphia, born and raised. One guy. We got so many dogs. Uh, I couldn't. I couldn't even pick one guy to have like an explosive season. And I, mean, I couldn't. I couldn't pick one. Basically, is what I'm saying. Dogs. We got dogs. AJ Brown, Hassan Reddick, Brandon Graham. This team is loaded. If you're not picking the Eagles to win the NFC East, you're crazy. You tube. For most of you, this is a playoff preview. For me, however, this might be a bloodbath. This is the Spirit of Detroit podcast, your most realistic take on the Detroit Lions. Like, comment, subscribe. I post content daily and often. While many of your favorite YouTubers were talking about the practice squad and the greatness of Nate Sudfeld, I was out here researching the Philadelphia Eagles. First, I'll start with the strength versus strength. Our O-line versus their D-line. Hargraves, Davis, and Brandon Graham, and not to mention Fletcher Cox, are major contributors to their multiple D front. Uh, the Detroit Lions match up well with Sewell and company, but I feel as though it stops there. The front seven and the back four are one of the best in the league, and as a secondary consists of Darius Slay, um, Rodney McLeod, Nate Bradbury, and personally my favorite cornerback safety extraordinaire Gardner Johnson from the Saints who they just acquired if we expect our receivers to get open we need to attack uh, the newly upgraded linebacker core whose highlight player is Nicobe Dean if we could do that expect Hawkinson St. Brown and Swift to find the ball early and often underneath you know speaking of which we were so interested in Nicobe Dean and we were so concerned about his medicals that we drafted two injured players in the first and second round that won't be playing today. I just wanted to give you an update that Nicobe Dean has played all three preseason games and we haven't. Our first two picks haven't. Anyway, that's going to be the key to winning the game. Is DVOA. Jared Goff needs to complete drives with TDs because this offense with the Eagles is completely loaded. Wide receiver, running back, tight end Dallas Goddard have proven to be formidable in the past. Uh, Miles Sanders also returns from injury. He did not play last year when the Lions played the Eagles at home. Uh, honestly, this this team was the best rushing attack all last year and the best rushing offense in the league last year. Their only notable weakness is the uncertainty at the QB position. Now personally, I like Jalen Hurts, but to win, get him out of the rhythm. If he gets in the rhythm, he's one of the most deadliest quarterbacks in the league. It's literally written in a stat. Uh, early and often, we have to get him pressure. Uh, early and often, we have to attack him, and we have to get his confidence low. And he's probably the most streakiest quarterback in the league. When he's hot, he's hot, and when he's not, he is not. Uh, in addition to this running attack, his ability to run, his arm is surgical, like I mentioned before. Uh, but when called upon, he is rising to the occasion. He's a good young QB. I do like him, but we have to put him in a position where he questions himself and the play calling. Aiden Hutchinson and company will have their hands full stopping the, this versatile running attack. They're not just an RPO defense or offense. They are a RPO also smash mouth football. They have a very strong, diverse running game. Zone stretches, RPO. Uh, smash mouth they can run the ball any type of way um, the key is the key on defense would be to shut down the run uh, put points on the ball early and immediately and make Jalen Hurts a life a living hell if we can play contain and avoid prevent defenses and make this game a Jalen Hurts puts the team on his back and on his arm we potentially have a shot 
Now my biggest concern, honestly, with this team is that this is not even close. They are far superior in levels of talent. Uh, I think they're far superior in levels of, you know, just play calling in general. They were a nine and eight team. I did pick this team to win the NFC East division because the Dallas Cowboys are lackluster. They lack toughness. And the Eagles are all, all about toughness. And uh, with quality quarterback play this season, they could be a 10 and 7 team, 11 and 11 and 6 team. Now, again, Jordan Davis, Nicobe Dean, Fletcher Cox, they, you know, Gardner Johnson, their additions on defense, Brad Berry, their additions on defense are significant. Okay, I can feel their defense right now. I can feel it, how heavy it is. Uh, But the Lions do have a chance. The Lions do have a chance. But every touchdown matters. Every possession matters. Do not let these YouTubers tell you that we can kick field goals and beat this team. Um, Probably at the end, but we need to stop their drives. That's the point. That's the game. We need to score TDs and stop their drives. Obviously, we have our our worst receiver on the active roster is Quintez Cephas. So I do have a, a very strong belief in our wide receiver core. But in terms of dominating performances, I'm going to need to see a lot more from Jared Goff. Like, comment, subscribe for more thought-provoking content like this. My prediction for today... The Eagles Sunday matchup against the Detroit Lions. My prediction is my prediction for today is 16 to 35 Eagles. Love y'all. Like, comment, subscribe.